Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. You can listen to The Mike O'Mara Show at MikeO'MaraShow.com. Let's get started. It's The Mike O'Mara Show with Mike O'Mara, Oscar Santana, and Rob Spiewak. Now, here's Mike. Live from Podville Media around the world, this is The Mike O'Mara Show, heard in great cities like Childersburg, Alabama, Ensenada, Mexico, Hershey, Pennsylvania. We've been there a bunch. Chocolate Town. Uh, my favorite amusement park when I was in uh, in. The I area. need to revisit it. I do, I was disappointed the last time I went, but I want to get up there again and check it out. Scottsburg, Indiana, St. Regis, Montana, and Truman, Minnesota. The Mike O'Mara Show is uh, on now and glad to be with you. I like to uh, start these shows with something really stupid. So uh, <laughs> let me start with a commercial. We have seen most of the week now that they are advertising on uh, the Looney Tunes show that my son is addicted to in the morning. Right. And uh, Is it fair great. to it say that you him. are uh, you're also a fan? Not anymore because you're they burned run out on a it. continuous loop of them and they're it would be like if every week we ran best of shows. Okay. Uh, you just get to a point where you're some, not interested anymore. Some say know? we have in some sorts. Okay. All right. Yeah. And in what way would that be? No, it, I, I, I think what Oscar is saying yeah. is that every day we is are, a future best of. We're best of. Yes, yeah, right. The best of the best. Be best, I thought Mike. he was saying Mike takes a lot of time off. and He might have been saying that. And I didn't but mean I it that was, way. But I think I was, he was going in that direction. No, I, that's, I'm that's positive. We're always great. Be well, best. I, I agree with that. Yes. Yes. <laughs> when we're here. Do you see why you do that? Don't do that. I mean, last week we did a show together, and Mike wasn't here. It was great. That's right. Yeah, that's yeah. not best of material. Well, it's coming up on summer, so get used to that. <laughs> uh, anyway. Mike, summertime, and the living is easy. It is. Yes. It is. It is. <laughs> or, or is it? Is it? Well, it depends. All right. Depends, right? I'll get to, I'll get to the stupid thing in a minute. Okay. All right. <laughs> the stupid thing can wait, yeah. because this is the way this show works. I love this show. <laughs> and nine too. times out of ten, yeah. maybe eight times out of ten times a week, Oscar will come in here. And he will say something, and it's not even prepared, but it'll tweak something in me. <laughs> Did you say eight or nine times a week? Yeah. I think it's that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's even good. low. Before and after the show. Yes. <laughs> He'll come in and say something that jogs me. Yes. All right. You know my passion down here uh, when I'm not doing a show and not hanging out with my family is playing golf. Yeah. Yeah. So we are leaving town Friday. Uh, after we tape our bonus show, and we are going to the other side of the state for a weekend getaway where we're going to spend Friday night and Saturday night uh, at the beach. We kind of call it the real beach because when you go over to the Atlantic side, yes. you get the real surf and you get the wind and you get, and it's kind of a cooler beach environment. Is it Miami that you're headed to? or where are you uh, Do you want the address? No, uh, I just we're want going to the, just a it, city. That's all. It's, uh, I, we're going over to where we went. During the hurricane, okay. where we stayed okay. to get out oh, of that. Very nice. So you had such a good time then. They treated us so well. Oh, we always said sweet. we said when we left. There, I you remember guys were so great. Yeah. We want to come back. So now we're coming back, and we're going over there. And uh, so uh, yesterday, I play uh, golf three times a week. That's my. Uh, that's how many times I play. A week. No I more. To, no less. I try. Uh, I try to get more, but I don't. Yeah, I don't usually. You're not succeed. allowed. I'm not. Uh, there we go. Yeah. See, you're reading my mind. Yes. Mike, because that's against the rules. That is against the rules. Uh, Who runs Border Town? <laughs> Master Blaster. Border Town. Oh, Who runs it. the silo? Who runs the silo? Oh, I don't know yet. Are they poisoning the suits? <laughs> yeah. Is it really poison out there? We've now seen a glimpse. I'm only on episode two. It, well, I went to it yesterday, hoping that three was out. It's out on Friday. Friday. Oh, now so now I got to be patient. Okay, that's fine because I may have drifted off uh, watching episode two. Doesn't surprise me. Dystopia tends to get it's you dark. into a yeah. real mm, lots of rust like and gears. And they they kind of uh, they ask you've seen episode two. Yes, I have. So they kind of led heavy with epi they do that yeah. on this and, show. And Silo. then romance. I was like, I don't care about the romance. And that's Tell it. me they, what's they going lead on. With the, they lead Dystopian with the, with the romance? Cool yeah. Oh, that's the and sexiest like, kind. We're Americans, so we want the plot to finish. And what's happening? What's happening? What's yeah. real? What's real? What's real? Anyway, getting back to it. So uh, I'm not going to be able to play uh, three times this week. And so I'm sitting there and played well yesterday for the first time. 
that I really felt like I played. You that's felt like a golfer. That's the first time I that's really awesome. felt that's great. in about two and a half months that You're I- back, baby. I don't know how long I was on the shelf. Probably two months on the shelf, two months to get back. About mm -hmm. four months total. You know, November, December, January, February, March. No, about, yeah, about six months, really. If you're counting how much, That's so I'm a lot. saying three three months to get back to where yeah. horrible. It's been no fun at all. So I'm sitting there and I'm realizing I'm uh, going to be loading up the uh, truck and moving to Beverly on Friday with the fam, and uh, not going to be able to have my regular best day of the week, which is the Friday, right? Because everybody's in a good mood. Uh, the workers and the non-workers are in great moods because it's Friday, and uh, I'm sitting there with two guys that I really like a lot. One guy in particular who I've uh, played with often, and uh, handsome just guy. A cool, he's just a cool guy. He's okay. a cool guy. He's uh, he makes interesting conversation. He's he's lighthearted. He's like he's uh, he's chill, but he's funny. And I I like kind of like you. Ah, oh, thank you. You're What's welcome. his handicap? I, uh, uh, he's really good. He's uh, one of our A players. Oh, so okay. Wow. He's so good, but he's not good in package. a way where. You know, it doesn't. It, he doesn't. He just gets out there and smacks. It. Is he so tall? It's fun. No, he's not. I like my no. man tall. And, and so he's five foot two. Oh. He said. Uh, <laughs> by the way, he just volunteers as we're sitting down there. We got a game going Thursday, and I said, "What time?" He said, "Middle of the day." I said, "Oh man, uh, yeah. Let me uh, let me check. Oh, got to check at home." I said, "Yeah, yeah. Let me uh, call." And I call. <laughs> oh, big mistake. I oh, call no. at the table. Mm. And oh, I you get, mean I, like around the other guys? Like, I'm going to call yeah. and just check this out. Yeah. 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 And so I'm immediately uh, reminded that I'm a uh, child and that I am not them and I am less free. And I, uh, you know, I've chosen this life, which I enjoy uh, a lot of the time. But then there's some time. And then I'm very delighted that my wife is back in the uh, workforce. Yes. And uh, you Mike. know, I didn't go into the real detail about what she said, but it was what the hurtful. problem was that I didn't discuss with you yesterday was that uh, she said, "What's happening?" Nothing. I just I can't. I, I'm. I, I have to deal with this. You don't hear it, and nobody hears it. Mike, be a professional. When the he's going to go, he'll be in front of my house now for six hours. Is it a mower? This guy'll be going. But it's a mower, a yeah. loud mower. And I don't know how they've picked this time on this street to do it two days in a week uh, now, Monday and Thursday. Uh, Didn't Carla Wednesday. arrange it? I don't know. I don't know. But it's uh, it's a little frustrating. So I will uh, turn yeah, my headphones yeah. up. No yeah, yeah. No big deal. No yeah. big deal. I'm going to turn my headphones up. There you and, go. Uh, Perfect. And uh, that'll, I... that'll help things. Uh, so getting back to what I was doing. So she says, no, uh, no. you And, and, it, and she's uh, <laughs> no. obviously... Obviously not. Um, she's annoyed with me. Yeah, she's annoyed with me and the way I'm uh, uh, asking the question, or perhaps the idea of doing this. And she says, uh, uh, "You know, my, my mom's not available for pickup, and uh, oh, this our is babysitter is not available for Michael. pickup. Yeah, yes, and, uh, ostensibly, yeah, for pickup. yes." And she says, "Nope, uh, you can't play golf on Thursday." And, and she's saying this to me while I'm at the table. I'm like, oh, okay, great. Thank you. And I hang up and I, and I said, uh, well, we're uh, working on it. That's what I say because I know at a later date we'll be able to work it. And then I said, you know what? Uh, put me in. Put me in for oh, Thursday. Oh, no. Because there was a part of me deep, deep down oh, inside no. of me. You're your own worst enemy. You really are. Oh, my God. That says. Were you going to put the boy in an Uber? <laughs> These guys are safe now. They've yeah. got that little panic button He's on the app. Pretty old, yeah. <laughs> Later on, we'll get to what I'm uh, buying Carla for Mother's Day. <laughs> oh, very, very. I bring I bring a lot to the table today. Yeah, you are. But you we'll know what you are. That. You are like a beautiful platter. I, well, <laughs> if you told me we taped a late day show yesterday, yeah. and normally I'm a uh, content to. Sometimes I'm content challenged, and then there are other times where nope, my life is. Uh, effed up enough where I can come in within uh, less than with 12 hours and uh, and what be do right you call those beautiful appetizer trays they're cheese and meat and vegetables and all Char charcuterie yeah Mike you are a virtual charcharcuterie of issues today charcuterie <laughs> it was the so way she it says was no but he, she but says he no says in such yes. a way that 
I am soon going to be uh, <laughs> one year shy of Medicare. I yeah. am a grown man. How dare I, you? I'm a I, Medicare man. I am grown up. And Worst I have superhero been, there is, by the way. I Medicare have worked man. in one way or another yes. since I was you 14 have. years you old. Mm -hmm. You picked tobacco. I have, uh, I have worked for since I was he suckered tobacco. Years old. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, thank you for remembering. Thank you. Uh, so I really, it just was the tone, and she was obviously waiting on a client, and she was very, now, I should say- Was she curt that, with you? She was curt with you. Can I just say, that, can you stop interrupting me for one second with your okay. questions, please? Yes. okay. All right? She was uh, curt with me because <laughs> she had a customer that was coming in about 15 minutes. Quick. So yeah. I called, She answered. Uh, I said, fine, then I got in the car, and I'm driving back home. Uh, to tape this show, and I said, what's the deal? And she said, the deal is, uh, and the tone was so completely school mm -hmm. that I got angrier and angrier, and I think at a particular time, I'm like, you know, I'm a grown-up. I've got feelings. Uh, you know, this doesn't happen. Uh, you know, we've talked about me being over there where uh, the guys asked me on the show, do you have friends or acquaintances? I said, I've got acquaintances, but these are two acquaintances who I truly enjoy being. They yes. could be friends. They could. And by the way, the guys he mentions, the other two yeah. that would play with me, are guys that I know I'm not going to just be playing. I'm going to be laughing, and there's going to be fun, really smart, yeah. ball busting that's that's a delight to be could around. Could they be I'm, friends? Oh, could they be friends, like yeah. Oscar said? Yeah, if that's I was awesome. over there, uh, you just have to you know throw a few zeros on my number. Yeah. To be a friend... You must know to have a friend. Damn it. Be That's a friend. what I'd have yes. to do. So I'm really, really mad. <laughs> yes. And so it's call, hang up, call, yeah, argue, call, oh. hang up again, call. And uh, and and I'm like, uh, well, what time does uh, the after school program end? Uh, she says, I don't know. You really don't. You really can't play golf. I said, you're not even thinking. I, I have not had time for this. I have a client coming. Click. And I'm just feeling oh, worse yeah. and worse. Is this all at the table in front of your your? No, no. This is uh, long okay. after that. Oh, after. No, the real fireworks began after. Okay, at the but, table, but, they only heard. Okay, uh, that's fantastic. And then I made. The and decision. then you overruled. You said normally, I got this. if I don't care, yeah. If it's a real extra, yeah. Uh, I would say, okay, sorry, can't do it on uh, on Friday. Isn't uh, there? Thursday. Isn't there something benevolent or sweet to say, guys? I got kid duty. Yes. Sorry, I can't make yeah, that 100%. Yeah, that is, actually. Yeah. Uh -huh. And 99.9% .9 of the time, that would be me. Yeah. This particular moment- uh, oh, It there, was a perfect a, storm of a great day for you. I don't care who calls me selfish. I don't yeah. care who is uh, you know, saying I'm swimming in Lake Me. I made it very clear to my wife that I, uh, in a later text, uh, when I was uh, apologizing, I uh, I let her know that I was uh, swimming in Lake Me, and then mm -hmm. I lever, 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 lever. Yeah. All of because, this stuff that you're talking about, this happened what? before. I'm hold just on, for a on. timeline. No, I'm just holding on just a second because I'm trying to make some points here. So uh, you have shut to, up. Thank you. <laughs> Noted. You're out of control today, and I know you're excited <laughs> about the graduation weekend. I know you are. So really, just file it away. Shut up. In the back of your mind. Shut up. Just a little bit. Not a lot. I want you to participate, but it's just I can't get three words out. Shut up! Without a question coming, and it's 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 hard for me to explain my feelings. After that, we can open up the floor for it's, for questions. It's Mike's time. Yeah, I understand. but right now the rule should be shut up until the <laughs> sentence is finished. Mm -hmm. Is that fair? More than All fair. Right. Let's play the quiet game in the back of the car. The be, shut the, up! Be quiet game, to be specific. So. <laughs> I'm talking to her, and I am frustrated. And in the text, along with the apology, I said, "Some." I said, "I know it might be hard to understand, but sometimes I feel like I want even more me time." And that is predicated on the fact that uh, the majority of these fellows that I socialize with and I consider playing this game socializing are no longer in the game. So they can change. I not only uh, will be in the game for uh, probably a very long time, and I've come to that conclusion, uh, that I like playing the game of work, and I like working, and I like what I do. My work is fun. My work is a joy. I enjoy it. With that said, along with work, I also happen to be an older father. Papa. So I have two, count them, one, two, 
uh, strains on my time, and I don't call it a strain, but a demand maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Let's not call it a demand. I have two things that I am responsible for. Requirements. That a lot of people, a lot of people my age are no longer burdened with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but work so, you can work around. You work have. I can, Very well, easy. You guys, no problem. You guys have been. Uh, ridiculously yeah. so cooperative really, with me, and the, I sincerely the appreciate The only strain it. is your beloved son and our godson. That's right. It is. Not a strain. And my son, by well, the way. Well, for him. Mm -hmm. My son, which I will get to that we later. We think it's a miracle. Is, uh, is a joy, <laughs> and when he's not at school, what did I miss? Nothing. What? No, it's just Nothing. awesome. Shut up! Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's <clears throat> him, man. I am not. Uh, if it was uh, playing the sport I love or my son uh, and not just a pickup mm -hmm. where he's going to go into his room and play his Fortnite after he does his homework or take Spanish, it would be a different story. Mm. You've never, uh, you know, I have maybe one weekend a year weekend yes. that I uh, will not spend all day Saturday Face with time. him yeah. and – as we get into the fall, we'll talk more about it, mm -hmm. where it's going to be a great fall because I'm excited about the time I'm going to be spending with my son. But that's why we ended up where we ended up. Yeah. That's the end of the sentence. How now I can entertain a question. Yeah, uh, so um, when did you know, and th th these are all this morning when we woke up, uh, I was trying to, um, I was like, Shannon, get in the shower, get in the shower. We, we have one bathroom in our in our. Were you our also home. in the shower at the time? No, no, no. Too small. Okay. Uh, I said, that, I said, get, all right, hold on. I gave you a lot of those. Let me uh, just say that is really, that Thank is you. a good Thank one. You. You. you got off a good yeah, one. Mike, what it is, it's yeah. choose your spots. Yeah, I Thank was in you. bed. Um, and I was like, in the shower, I don't want to be late. Don't worry. She goes, nah, yeah, like, stop yelling at me. I'm like, I'm not yelling at you. She doesn't get out of bed. Uh, I, just, I was like, just go. Anyway. Neither go. one of you get out of bed. No, I am ready like that. I'm, I, I don't, I'm not burdened with makeup, hair, or anything like that. Shower, it shows. shirt, go. <laughs> Right? Thank you. Hold on, he gets another one here. Really, uh, so your feet hit the floor as soon as the alarm goes off. Get ready, ready to rock. Ready what to do you rock. Do? What do you do that makes you? I watch CNBC. I answer emails. But to be honest, your feet aren't hitting the floor if you're telling her while you're in bed to get in the shower. Well, I'm on the computer. Well, I guess that's by what you do. Law. You wake up. Wait, what he's saying is. He wakes up, but he's not ready to go. Yeah, I'm not right, ready to go. Right. Yeah. He eases his way. That, doesn't, that doesn't count. Right. Okay. Waking up, what, what counts is hitting the floor into the shower, out the door. That's yep. what counts. Out the door, I think, counts. Out the door. In my out life. Out the door. In my life. Out the yeah, door you're counts. Ready to go. Everyone says they're ready, but until, like, can we get out of the house in a timely manner, out right. the door. Right. right? I, yeah, I get it. I get it completely. And I am one of the other things. Thank you again. I'm being very appreciative today yes. that, you know, I don't have the. Uh, morning commute that uh, that both you guys have, well, so and we don't have a, a burdensome that. one. I think that's what that what that's what gets us. Rob's the only that's, one with a burdensome. You no, know, Oscar correct. doesn't have a burdensome commute. I said right. I don't. Yeah, I said you're. I said Rob. Yeah, I'm just saying. That's what I said. Okay, just agreeing. That's all. Oh. Shut up. Okay. Oh, back to that. <laughs> I thought I built up some plus points. Well, I just said Rob. We all said uh, the same thing. Rob has a burdensome. Yes. Uh, and then you said. I said, yeah, Oscar, well, Oscar doesn't. Oscar doesn't have a burden sentence. <laughs> right. After, After I, said I, I had just <laughs> said it. Oscar said, I don't somebody have one. said that. Somebody in this room. <laughs> I said you have a burdensome commute. I said I do not have one. Okay, I do. Now I'm sorry. Can we move on? Yes. Thank you. I've got a breast fucker. You want to milk me? Um, what, do you? What, what does that <laughs> I've got mean? nipples crying. Oh, damn it. That's, 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 <laughs> this really is a stupid show. <laughs> it is a stupid show. And I haven't even, uh, I haven't given you my lead of the stupidest I thing can't ever. wait. I can't so, wait. So the way it works is this. Thursday is going to be. Oh, you didn't finish the thing no. about uh, Shannon. My point out is, I Sorry. said, she goes, why are you always yelling at you? And I said to her, do you think I won't be bothered by asking you to get ready for the day? <laughs> she said, she goes, you know what? She looks at me and I'm looking at her um, chest because she's topless. T O P L E S S. Oh, there you go. And All she right. says, All right. You can be hurtful sometimes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I said, I'd like not to be late. Get in the shower. <laughs> That's it. But I still stared at her chest. When you said to her, I like not to be late. Yes. She still got it. Still perky. Did she buy it when you said you like not to be late? She didn't buy it. Those are real. 
No, 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 no. I'm talking. How, how my, dare you? Let's move on That's past my that wife. if we can. I'm, sorry. I'm right, talking about him uttering the statement without a trace of irony. I like not to be late. Well, late people like to blame other people for being late. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. I get that. I'm, I'm, that's the, uh, yeah. uh, I get that's that. the selfishness. Yeah. Have I, have I apologized? No. I moved on with life. Yes. I apologize. I'm a big apologist. I'll do it later you guys on. Know that. I yes. apologize to you guys. I'll all do it later time. on. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, getting back to. I'll, I'll the, say, it, uh, hey, about this morning, JK, and then I'll yeah. walk out. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, that, you've, you've that's given good. her a wonderful compliment and painted a wonderful picture for me and the listeners. Yes. Yeah. They're still uh, anyway, rocking and rolling. So, where we are now is that uh, his. Program goes till uh, five thirty. Your son. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm playing at twelve eighteen. Uh, we play fast down there, so the odds are that I will have more than enough time to collect him tomorrow, unless things change with my wife, which uh, in which case she will do it because she's closer, and uh, and that's where we are. But don't so you think uh, the wise play is for you to take care of it? The no, wise play is well, for you yeah, to cancel yeah, yeah, you're the route. Probably, no, the, you got to cancel the no, route. The wise play, uh, yeah, it probably is the wise yeah. play. Well, no, but it will be Bill O'Reilly voice. But the thing but is, no, like, like you said, you have plenty w- of time. Yes. So you get your golf, you get your buddies, you get your son, and then you can say, see, this wasn't you know a what? rule breaker. It's a have to, want to, have to day. Okay. I don't really like have to, want to, have to days. I like have to, want to's. Okay. I really or want to have to. But you, you could know? get yourself some plus points for the future. Yeah, but if you play this is, right. I don't do this very often. And at a certain point, I with my schedule now, as far as coming in and doing this, we have a uh, more vigorous schedule than we have in the past. We really do. I think we used to be really uh lackadaisical and uh we kind of got that back on track, and I think the show has been better for it. Would it be but, frowned upon if you gave Michael like <laughs> <laughs> You're like, hey, son, school is school. It's important. What, had him take an Uber home? No. If you said, why don't you take a mulligan today and come with daddy to the golf course? Oh, that'd be that great. That would be wonderful. Yeah. Uh, all right. I'm sorry. Now we would call that an O'Mara Shut holiday. <laughs> an O'Mara holiday. You don't. Do either one of you know what I do when I'm recreating? Do you know what it's like? Do you know what's like? Children are not part of the equation during the weekdays out there. Don't they have like a playroom or something there? They don't have a, what, like daycare? No, they don't. They're 75 years old, Rob. I I thought he could caddy for you or like be like, hey, guys. No, it doesn't work that way. No, he has a big Al Chervik-like bag. He couldn't have it. By the way, I think there are places that do do that, and I would love it if they did because I would love it if they I see Tiger and his son playing all the time. Well, that's a different story. And I know there are casinos that have playrooms. Okay, stop it. That It's not really... Mm. The, the the normal thing to do and it would require i'm not taking him out of school at noon so i can play golf that's not happening mm. well i think oscar was suggesting a whole day <laughs> yeah in front of mike sharp <laughs> back and forth 10 15th one eight eight hundredth of an acre hi <laughs> what i think oscar yeah. was suggesting you take the full day what do you mean to give him a whole day off don't take no. him out at noon no no, his educate. This is a play. This is a serious academic institution. What about here. locking him in his room and say, "Look, we're going to play a game." No, for the next no. five hours. This I'll is a game there. called Bomb Shelter. I'll get there. It's a good game. But tomorrow <laughs> will be. Yes. Tomorrow will be a have to want to have to. Yeah. And if there happens to be a monkey wrench somewhere in that, mm-hmm. it's going to be. And people know what I'm talking about when you. Uh, have obligations. Okay, it's it, 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 it happened on the fifteenth. Fifteenth hole, you get a call, or you manufacture. How about this? No, I'll tell you the worst. Okay, can I give you the worst scenario, yes. Oscar? Yeah, this is the worst scenario. Fifteenth hole, I'm looking at my watch, and I've got Mister and Missus Effing Habisham in front of me that are going. Yeah. That's a peach, hun. <laughs> Which has been happening because now. As the birds of snow fly north, yes, we are left with the full timers that yes. are uh, mainly down here because they're too ill to travel. No, My, that's not. Are true. they're not high functioning? <laughs> they're they're just totally slower ill. than most. Yeah, they're so slow. Yeah, so slow. Yesterday was so so slow. And One, if that happens, two, then I'll be three, stressed out. But I will fully uh, inform the group I'm with that I will be uh, a hard you know, out. 
I will be. I will need to have a hard out. Mm-hmm. Hey, that is, uh, hey that's Siri, what's the average time of an eighteen-hole round of golf? Go fuck yourself. No, uh, no, that didn't say anything. That was your Siri. Yeah, it didn't. Uh, give me the anything. average time should be about four hours, but we usually manage to get it done a little earlier than that. And when you have the Habishams, it can be four hours and ten minutes. Four hours and fifty. Do you um? Do you foresee? And this that is good. Problem? Every plan. Every every plan needs a backup plan. Exactly yeah. a plan B. Right. Yeah. Uh, uh, the, the backup plan is me. You the leave. Backup plan is I leave. Yeah. Okay. There's no other way around. But you've left for your back. You've left for your trick knee. You've left, left for all a zillion times. reasons, yes. right? Yeah. The, pro- the reasons I've left are multiple. Yeah. They might be counting on you leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you say something that hurtful to me? <laughs> it's not hurtful. It's what just, do you mean? Like because what? Because I'm miserable to be around. No, out no, there? no, is that no, what no. You're no. But they, if you have a history of leaving. I don't have a history like, of leaving. I had a back injury. Mm, People walk out. What do you mean a history of leaving? You just I said you've left for no, reasons that I were multiple. Because I've left because of an injury, not because okay. I have a history. It's like, what, I'm out there like with the regular guys? I go, eh, I don't feel like it today. That's not. <laughs> no. His back, is frowned I misinterpreted. Upon. His back usually gets, what, twerked? Is that, that the word? Tweaked. 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 Yeah. Twerked. Idiot. Yeah. I get out in the middle of the fairway and I start <laughs> raising my ass up and down. <laughs> To the beat of hip hop music, Mike. You know. Let me yes. ask you this question. Fire away. What is the, the, I guess, the most asinine reason you'd ever have to walk off a golf course? Ah, that's a good that question. That you ever had to, you personally. Oh, that you're boy. embarrassed. You're like, I can't believe I had to do that. Uh, poop your pants. Okay, fair enough. Oh, that's. Yeah. Have if you that have you happened. seen this happen? Uh, I've seen. <laughs> I've seen people that probably should have thought about it, you know, <laughs> but really only, oh, I had this great guy, Greg. Hi, Greg, if you're listening, uh, that I used to play with. And yes. there's a guy we're playing with uh, that uh, this is a place I used to play at that uh, is wearing white shorts. Mm. And every time, as soon as it was discovered, every time he teed off, this guy took the butt of his club and used it as a pointer. Oh, so the guy I, didn't even realize he was being spotlighted? He, didn't, he had a little dollop. Oh, that was no. Right there. And kind of... I am telling you, yes. it, it cha- we weren't thinking about scores. We, weren't there. <laughs> we were waiting for the first tee, <laughs> for the next the tee, so he could point, and, and, I, and he never got it. He the never picked up guy. on it. It was frigging Hysterical. Meanwhile, Mike is in the fairway. Did you find hip hop music? There it is. Yeah. I twerked my back, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna have. That's all we needed. That's fine. Thank That's you. Fantastic. Thank you. Will you please uh, turn down the music? I twerked my back. I twerked my back. <laughs> oh, you, you're combining two stories. Yes. So anyhow, Mark, no music. The, I twerked my back. Come on, Mary over. From yesterday's show to uh, this show and uh, today's show, so that's uh, it. And now uh, I bring you the stupid. Yeah. Uh, this is exciting because you tease this and now we really. get it. It is, Don't though. oversell it. Now, when you do that, when you say this is exciting, you're saying this is probably not going to be exciting, and no. it's not. It's just an observation All right. that when did I miss the memo that pizza and ranch dressing somehow go together? Oh. They are selling ranch dressing now. As a topping for pizza, and I found it absolutely disgusting, and I did not think that you put ranch dressing on top of pizza. Mike, I just never thought of it. Ranch dressing has become the appetizer rallying cry of white trash. They put okay. it on everything. I well, disagree. Nasty. I love it. Well, <laughs> and I'm not. I'm Spanish. You like I'm wait? Latino. You like ranch I'm dressing Bolivian. on pizza? I'll 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 dip it in pizza, and have I'll you also, dipped it? Have you done it? I have. Okay. Did I learn it from my Southern Maryland wife? Yes. There but it is. well, there you so go. She knows. Yeah. Is she around? I'd love to hear her comments oh. on ranch I don't dressing think with she's pizza. Friendly with uh, the old Fantana right now. Remember we oh, had a she's spat not, this morning. Oh, that's right. Actually, this is funny. I went downstairs. <laughs> I, is I, that don't, I don't know why I do this to myself. Jesus Christ. Yeah. So I was like, I hope you're ready, and I. She down, comes thundering down, down no, the stairs. That's me in my dress shoes. Oh, you say at the top of the stairs. Yes. You say, I hope you're ready. Yes. And then you pounce down. Yes. Great Foley work. Can you do you yes. coming down Thank the steps again? You. God, it's like listening to the Joy Boys, Thank isn't you. it? Can I try? Can yes, I try? of course. I hope you're ready. 
Can, Can I, I do another one? Yeah, please. I hope you're ready. <laughs> Can I do one? Yes. I hope you're ready. Rob's doing a, I know what you're doing. You're doing a, uh, one of those old people things that goes down the- uh, A chair lift. A chair? Yeah, oh, well done. Exactly. Yeah, I, think I thought it was Hold a vi get it vibrator. Again. You've gotten more sarcastic <laughs> applause today than you've gotten uh, the uh, shut up thing. Well, maybe not. It's a- uh, So, it's, it's a so wash. I walk down <laughs> yes. and it's crickets. The house is empty. She was so mad at me. She walked to work. Oh, she oh, left. Oh, no. <laughs> so she left while you were in Without the shower. Without saying goodbye. <laughs> and have you had any contact no. since you got to work? I, the dog said hi to me. That's it. Well, so the dog is here, so she's here. Yes. Would you like me See, to go invite her in? No, no, don't need that in my life right now. These please. are the conflicts that I really wish you would share. Oh, I, I yeah, really I don't do. need yeah. that. Well, I'm because, not right now. It's not going to work. But. Let me share this. I mean, Back to the really food. Bad. Mm. Cool Ranch Doritos and Pizza. That's a different product. I if know. If you've got a flavored chip and you're putting something crunchy on pizza, I would be all in. When I saw I know, this I commercial- I still have to say no to that. that, that so is, yeah, but it's better than just putting the goo on. Yeah, this. I suppose. Have you seen that Like every year around Christmas now, Hidden Valley, by the way, Mike, you they found it years ago, no longer hidden. They yeah. will sell like a keg of ranch. As like a Christmas gift, yeah, and it's horrible. Ranch better than blue cheese? No, blue no, cheese. No, oh, no, no, God. No. I, I, think, no. I think blue cheese is trash. You know what you do? Did you you say ranch is better than blue cheese? Yes. Oh my God! Blasphemy! Blasphemy! Mm -hmm. You just screamed that you have an immature palate, and you underlined it and highlighted it yeah. well, because I, ranch I, is for dummies. This is what I want to do. Here, here. I hey, Tony, <laughs> what about you? Do, you? do you prefer blue cheese? Yes, ranch is disgusting. It is a dumb dressing. Like, it is the food of the dumb. <laughs> dumb dressing. Food it is. of the dumb. The dumb. <laughs> do you? It's great if you're a kid. You know what? Kids love it. I love it. You can slather it on carrots to make kids eat, yeah. like, raw vegetables mm -hmm. and stuff. And, and the, uh, the, the, the essence of ranch has an artificial component to it. Right? It doesn't taste right. Uh, Don't they yeah. make it with a powder that you can mix? Yeah. Right? Which is oh, just Oh, I just nastiness. usually get it in a bottle. I don't know how they well, make they, it. Well, most people, the Hidden Valley, get it. And, and that's one particular- The Hidden restaurant. Valley. <laughs> Why do we <laughs> accept that? <laughs> well, how about this? What are the ingredients in ranch? And is there a homemade version of ranch? I'm sure it's basically mayonnaise. Well, ranch dressing, I recall as a boy, you could get a packet- and then you would make it yourself. It was ranch oh, seasoning. I don't remember that. Um, I've pulled up ranch. What is what is ranch dressing made of? Sour cream and mayonnaise. Oh, the, yeah, it's got to have You've something. You've ruined it. Super white food. Yeah, and it the flavorful ranch dressing is seasoned with dried chives, dried okay. parsley, dried okay. dill weed, uh -huh. dried garlic powder, onion right. powder, yeah. salt, ground yeah. black pepper, and stupidity. So that's it. It's got it's sour cream and mayonnaise. Yeah. It's a fat bomb with some uh, garlic okay. salt. When in you there. Give, that's all. The ingredients they don't paint a great picture. Right. What I want to try, Mike, is the Papa John's Cool Ranch. Uh, it's a quesadilla of sorts <laughs> where they have Cool Ranch Doritos inside the quesadilla, <laughs> and then I want to dip that in ranch. They have a quesadilla, Papa John's. They're serving Mexican food. It. Or, it sounds like a Taco Bell. Mike. Mike. Please look this up real quick. Please, on your computer. The Papa John's Cool Ranch. I think it's called a quesadilla right. because they, they have a, a, a different name for it. But I said that's a, a quesadilla with, with Cool Ranch. Do you know how stupid we are as a people? The autocomplete on Google is actually the top hit is, why is ranch dressing so good? I love it. It's so dead. I agree, I I hate, I agree I with everyone. Google. <laughs> I think we're uh, a ranch not, nation. It's not a quesadilla. What is it? It's a Doritos. Cool Ranch Papadia. Papadia. Not a quesadilla because Excuse you me. see it's Papa John. Of course. That's what it's at. Uh, ranch see. dressing was invented in 1952 by Steve Henson. Now, now you can try a delectable handheld meal from Papa John's when you check out our Papadia's menu. It goes without saying that nobody does hot, fresh, and delicious quite like Papa John's. <laughs> Making pizza is what we do, but don't make the mistake of thinking pizza is all we know. Add your favorite Papa Dia to your order the next time you take advantage of our pizza deals.
Oh, reach for one the next time you've got places to be and need some flavor to go. All right. It, Mr. I'm, Butterfield? I'm for, yes, hello. Um, hello. Did you know that ranch dressing has been the top U.S. dressing since 1992 I, when I, it overtook I, Italian? Who doesn't like yeah. a winner? Uh, you see, that's you. It was invented yeah. by a plumber. Let me see. Uh, oh, you've got many flavors of poppadillas. <laughs> Doritos Cool Ranch. Doritos Cool Ranch Steak. Doritos Cool Ranch Beef. And create your own Doritos oh, Cool Ranch Papadilla. Mike, I did have one papadilla that was great. It was the paint chip papadilla. <laughs> and it was delicious. Yes. I just uh, don't remember how much I paid crunchy. for it. Very Introducing crunchy. Introducing the bold collaboration of two fan favorites, <laughs> Papa John's and Doritos. Yeah. <laughs> for the first time ever, we're unleashing the bold. I'm just reading the copy. This off is the great. Website. I love it. I love it too. We're unleashing the bold, zesty flavor of Doritos Cool Ranch on Papa John's melty, cheesy, dummy, low iq hey. flatbread-style <laughs> sandwich. Oh. The Papadilla, served with a signature Cool Ranch dipping sauce because if you didn't get your Cool Ranch sour cream, mayonnaise, and garlic salt dip, you will get it with your Cool Ranch Papadilla. Yeah, As yeah. of this day, Hidden Valley is owned by Clorox. Can you? Uh, of course are you they kidding are. me? I kid and, you not. And That's how white, so white is sour cream and mayonnaise, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Awesome. Coincidence? I don't think so. You don't have so. to worry about stains. Uh, All right, guys, we take quick, 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 yes, quick question. Oh, quickly, 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 do you yeah. want a papadilla for lunch? No. Pony? Oh, Rob, why don't you? No. Rob, you don't. Why don't you, it, by the way, it's a papadilla. It's a cool ranch. I'm papadilla. ordering them and paying for them. I'd, I'd try it. I yeah. Would try, I would try. I can yeah. send one to your house so you can be well, home. Postmates. Let me tell you why you can't do that. Why? why? If you saw the fact that I'm going broke taking <laughs> fat drugs, you would not be sending me a papadilla. That's it. That's all. That's uh, all. We have to take a break. When we come back, ladies and gentlemen, we'll have the homepage. A weekly gathering of news items that I sincerely hope you will find a bit of beauty. Isn't today's homepage flavored with ranch dressing? Cool ranch, Rob Spewer. <laughs> Get your financial planning on track this season, people. And uh, do it by Fabric by Gerber Life. Their quick and easy life insurance policy. You are going to do well with this. Customize a quote in just 10 minutes and get coverage up to $1 million for less than a dollar a day. Enjoy a 30-day money-back guarantee and flexibility to cancel anytime. Fabric by Gerber Life protects your family's future. Fabric was designed by parents for parents to help you get a high-quality, surprisingly affordable term life insurance policy in less than 10 minutes. You could be offered coverage instantly with no health exam required. Protect your family today with Fabric by Gerber Life. Apply today in just 10 minutes at meetfabric.com slash TMOS. That's meetfabric.com slash TMOS, M-E-E-T, fabric.com slash TMOS. TMOS, I'm doing better field again. <laughs> Policies issued by Western Southern Life Insurance Company not available in certain states. Prices subject to underwriting and health questions, people. Where is it? There it is. Play it, for God's sake. Thank you. That's the From thing. The four corners of the World Wide Web and into your digital device. It's what you need to know. This is the homepage. This is the homepage. We start today with a federal jury in Manhattan. Yes. They ruled yesterday that Donaldo Trump sexually abused E. Jean Carroll in the dressing room of the Bergdorf Goodman department store all the way back in 1996. Uh, they awarded Carol $5 million for battery and defamation, but stopped short of agreeing to her claim that Trump raped her. Uh, since this was a civil trial, Trump isn't facing jail time or any other criminal penalty, and it doesn't disqualify him for running for office. So there it is. And uh, the Law people that and order. <laughs> <laughs> Carol said, quote, Today the world finally knows the truth. This victory is not just for me, uh, but for every woman who has suffered because she was not believed. Trump did not attend the trial, but he called the verdict a total disgrace and, quote, the continuation of the greatest witch hunt of all time, 
Uh, obviously, he's going to appeal it, but uh, technically now you can say that a jury has found mm-hmm. him liable yes. for sexual assault, and that's a big deal. That's a big deal, uh, you would think, but uh, well, he's still in it. You know. my, my mom, by the way, um, uh, Reed Galen, if you're listening to this, she is, we have to take the Lincoln Project and dub it into Spanish. Because my mom is listen- Lincoln Project. My mom is listening to the Lincoln Project podcast on a regular clip, and she says, "Ese señor Reed sabe lo que está de, lo que está hablando," which is th- that that Mr. Reed really knows what he's talking about. I said, "Yeah, mom, he's been doing this forever. You know this." Yeah, he sure yeah, does. Uh, we have to get him on the show. Yeah, he knows what he's, he's doing. Uh, my mom called me when she got the news, and she's all in. You know, she she's an anti-Trumper. She's proud of her politics. She's and she said, do you think this is enough to stop people from believing in him? And I said to my mom, sadly, I don't think it is. All right. I'm, I, I was going to use this yes. in the body of the yes. show, but let me just uh, okay. do an observation. <clears throat> I think it's really important today in uh, today's America that everyone pay attention to everybody. Yes. I think yeah. it's really yeah, because if somebody's saying something outlandish and out there and beyond the pale, we want to keep tabs on it so we know that we can protect our democracy. Correct. But you know what? It is a democracy. And I think for the Republican Party, uh, sooner than later, they've got to make a, a move uh, to, you know, because I, I think that the reality is the reality. Let me tell you another thing I think the Democrats have to be smart about. Dismissing our Florida governor. I loathe some of the policies uh, from Governor DeSantis. I do. I've called him Governor DeSantis because he made me so angry during the pandemic when Florida is free. I get that whole shtick that he does. But what has also been said about Ron DeSantis is that Ron DeSantis uh, is kind of a rookie on the national stage. Ron DeSantis uh, cannot really hold his own when he's really scrutinized. Now, when you get interviewed by Piers Morgan and you're a conservative, I think it's a softball situation. Mm-hmm. I do. I have mm-hmm. to preface what I'm going to say by saying I think he was getting – he certainly wasn't getting truly grilled. But he also wasn't getting let off the hook completely either. And I'm just going to say this. You're going to make a big mistake, Democrats, if you underestimate or you dismiss like you dismiss Donald Trump, Ron DeSantis. Because I looked at a guy that has his S together as far as presenting his thoughts. Unrehearsed. It was free. It was it a softball interview? To a degree, it was. But do not make the mistake of dismissing. And I'm somebody who has thought, like a lot of Democrats that never watch Ron DeSantis, that you know, oh no problem, just another guy with the same mm-hmm. policy. Look, I don't agree with his policies. I agree with policies from the other side. But when you're talking about uh, a non-Trump. You got a non-Trump here, people. Mm. You got a big-time non-Trump mm. here, and it's going to be interesting to see how it shakes out. No, because let me tell yeah. you what he's got. He's got blue-collar background, and he's got uh, Ivy League education. Yeah, and it is not a smart move to dismiss somebody. Else. Underestimate. You're yeah. right. I mean, he's got Don't. all the evil without all the the problems, <laughs> without all the baggage, basically. <laughs> That was Pony Boy Matt Bloom. Uh, yeah, and Pony, if you see, uh, I, I urge everybody to check it out. And for you Democrats who are going to be screaming at me, folks, if you don't open your heads up and you don't let other people's ideas right. and interviews in, mm-hmm. you're going to be a, really a uh, uninformed It's around director. the corner. How do you think he handled the question that Piers Morgan asked him about ranch dressing? <laughs> he loved it. Yeah, I bet he did. <laughs> He truly, <laughs> truly loved it. So uh, Trump was uh, found liable, mm-hmm. and uh, yes. you know, I mean, it, it's uh, law and order w- was served. That's there. right. <laughs> uh, there's been some distance lately between Selena Gomez and her longtime BFF uh, Fran- Francia Raisa, mm. and a little bit of shade now is being thrown back and forth. Francia's father, a Spanish radio host who goes by the name El Cucoy. Says uh, it's C U C U Y, uh, Oscar. Is that Kukoy? Would that be Sikoy or I, I just I don't look no. at our our wonderful Latin uh, partner here running to Google well, Translate. No, I just don't understand <laughs> why every single Spanish radio host has to be some sort of character. 
Like the play, the and this is gro- even growing up. Even growing up, <laughs> yes. it's always been like Arrow! some sort of lucha libre name. Yeah. Hey like, guys, I lost you. Hi. We oh, have your right. audio. Yeah, we have your okay. audio. Good. All right. Uh, wow. I don't know what happened here. Hey, how you doing? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. All right. Reconnecting. Uh, wh- what is L C U C U C U Y? I'm looking that up myself, Mike. I'll let you know in two All seconds. Right. Very good. All right. We're waiting for you. Uh, anyway, uh, so Selena started drinking after Francia Raisa gave her a kidney. Uh, back in 2017, obviously alcohol consumption puts stress on the kidney, and you can see how that might be insulting to the woman yeah. who uh, went over the top and donated a uh, kidney to her. El so, Cocoy is yeah. the boogeyman. Ooh, oh, that's really? a great DJ name. <laughs> DJ, hey DJ Boogeyman. I'm DJ Boogeyman. Hey, we I'm love you, DJ, DJ Boogeyman. Boogeyman. Yeah. See. <laughs> right, trying, boys. Do I'm you really see fun. me? <laughs> I'm your Can Boogeyman. You yes. Do you see me? Well, Thank you know, that you. is not. A, who was it? It was uh, Papa John Phillips. As soon as he got a new liver, started drinking again. Mm-hmm. And it sort of threw people into a, a tailspin for that. It's not okay to, you know, get the surgery and then. Start abusing again. Yeah, but who is accusing who? That I was wrapped up in finding out what the hell El Cocoy meant. I think America is giving some side eye to Selena Gomez for drinking after getting the new kidney. The kidney? But the friend is upset because she donated she the kidney. She gave the kidney. Yeah, exactly. That's the reading I hey, got. Hey, on lady, it. your 15 minutes of fame is over. No, you no, wanna, no. You want to give an organ? Give it oh, up. Oh, the donor is yeah, 15 the donor. minutes. Yeah, that, she's we, out of here. We know a thing or two about a thing or two about kidney donation. Exactly. That's right. Did you know, Mike, most donors yes. can't get kidneys from their family members because the probability of them suffering from the same autoimmune disease as the person who needs the donation is high. Mm-hmm. How and, pissed off if you gave a kidney to somebody would you be about this? So I can understand her. I'd be completely. upset. Well, it's once it's yours, do what you want with it. No, I don't that's not it. true though. I mean, if your friend, I, if somebody, if I, if Rob was dying and I gave him a kidney and then he starts drinking again, I would be absolutely. You wouldn't be livid, Oscar. If if the kidney I'd failure be- went. I guess was a byproduct of drinking. Yes, if the kidney failure was a byproduct of some hereditary disease, no. Really? Yeah, well, because but don't you know that alcohol stresses the kidney, though? I think we all know that better now these days. Yeah. Well, tell me about it. Yeah, yeah. but your kidneys are fine. Beautiful, right? Yeah. They weren't. Were they ever in the? I guess were they for a risk of failure? No, no, no. They they checked them out and they yeah, passed. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I was Good more of a liver you. guy. <laughs> I was more of a liver failure. I was guy. more of a liver failure, diabetic, now, if morbidly obese guy. I gave you a piece guy. of my liver and yes, you started right. drinking again, I would be livid. Yeah, well, I wouldn't do it. Yeah, I wouldn't well, do it. It's, uh, it's fascinating. You can I, see it uh, in the new TV show on Hulu, Only Kidneys in the Building. Hey, uh, Robert De Niro, you still got it going on. Uh, he is now a father of seven. He casually revealed the news in an interview with uh, ET Canada. He didn't mention uh, who the mother is. Uh, but last month, he was spotted with a rumored girlfriend, Tiffany Chen, and she had a baby bump. As for De Niro's six other kids, he shares two with his first wife. Uh, Their ages are 51 and 46. (laughs) That's really old for kids. Isn't that something? A uh, set of 27-year-old twins uh, with a former girlfriend and two with his second wife, uh, age 25 and 11. That's a lot of kids for a 79-year-old. Am I just not not plugged in or... Have we not seen well, his I, I kids ever? I think Robert ever? De Niro could answer that question. Oh, okay. yes, you ask please. It yeah. again? Mr. De Niro, am I not plugged in? Why don't we ever see your kids? I don't know. <laughs> you know, I think... Do you Ro- protect them? Robert De Niro doesn't know. know how old he actually is. And yeah. I, I didn't know you could have kids that old. Uh, well, of course you can have kids that old. What would make you think you couldn't have kids? The guys can uh, produce for I'm a long, long time. I tell that to my doctor, Mike. Yes, I uh, I will share that immediately. Uh, Velveeta Mr. is now uh, selling zero point zero sperm count. Speaking of ranch, <laughs> Velveeta is now selling cheese filled chocolate. They partnered with a gourmet candy company called Compartes, and uh, they're available online while supplies last, so it's a limited only thing. They're called Velveeta chocolate truffles, uh, and each one is shaped like Velveeta shells in cheese pasta. And they're not cheap. A box of five costs 25 bucks. What's the company? The boutique candy company? Uh, Comparte. That actually translates from Italian to boogeyman. 
Boogeyman. <laughs> <laughs> They're filled with the uh, same stuff that comes in boxes of their mac and cheese. That kind of cheese. Ugh. Uh, if the cheese isn't a deal, okay, that'll be good for me. <laughs> mm. If the cheese isn't a deal breaker for you, this might be. The shells are white chocolate, not milk chocolate. That'll drive you away, won't it, Oscar? No, I think you, that. Do you like white chocolate? I love white chocolate. It's oh, not okay, chocolate. Yeah, I love like I my like women. I like white chocolate, too. What do you mean it's not chocolate? Of course it's chocolate. No, it's not. It's processed like chocolate, but it has no cacao in it, so it's not chocolate. What do you mean? By definition. Is it true? It is true. Why do they call it chocolate, then? It's sexual chocolate, oh. is what it is. Someone who tried them Weird. said there, uh, hold on just a second. <laughs> That's what he wanted to do today. He wanted to bring them all in. He's got the one-liners. Making me feel better about you. Making me feel like you're getting getting yourself back on Thank track, you. pal. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Someone who tried them said they're more cheesy than chocolatey, and their <laughs> filling is, quote, Velveeta in all its glory. They're available at... Gumbantes. <laughs> Boogeyman. Everything, everything has a, uh, a a flavor to it that's uh, very, very strange today. I don't know what's Oscar, going do you on. like Velveeta? I love Velveeta. Yeah, of course. It's right in your flavor All profile. Right, we have to move along here. Please. An OnlyFans star who claims to have a huge 14-inch, you know, uh, says he constantly gets stared at in public. Mark Rock, uh, 33, used to have uh, 8 inches, and now he's uh, had surgery Two experimental surgeries to bring it to uh, a final measurement of 14. That means they added 12 inches uh, to it. Uh, no, I'm sorry. That means they added uh, 14 minus 8, Rob Spiewak. How much? Six. Six. And uh, it's 12 <laughs> inches yeah. ar around. Yes. Uh, he now says people can't help but double take when they see his uh, package. Which he struggles to hide under his clothes. Oh, I'm sure he struggles. Can which you he struggles me? to hide under his nylon shorts. Yeah, exactly. Can you send me a pic? I just want to see I never got the pic. Oh. Didn't go there. There is Not a picture, curious. though. Uh, despite calling the attention Wait a second. Uh, incredible, Mark from uh, the U.S. says that uh, going out in public is now an adventure uh, with looks and double takes wherever he goes. But he likes it. That's why yeah, he had surgery. The weird thing time. is, is the doctor for filling used Velveeta. There it is. Uh, yeah, the, the, yeah they, he calls it his comparte. <laughs> Boogeyman. And now a little something, El something. Boogeyman. A group of thieves reportedly stole more than 200 sneakers from a store in central Peru, oh. very near uh, Bolivia. Where yes. From. Mm -hmm. uh, they oh. unknowingly made off with only right foot sneakers, though, because they took <laughs> off the uh, rack. The theft apparently took place early morning on April 30th, according to Diario Correo. <laughs> this is a theme of the show today. I love it. That is a national newspaper that covers Peruvian events. Security cameras reportedly showed three people breaking into the shoe store around 3.30 a.m. The trio, or Tres Amigos, right. uh, carried out three large boxes, uh, boxes all filled with about 200 right shoe sneakers. Police have not arrested the men, uh, but that's okay because they are still just running in a circle around the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got to stop for a second while I fix things. Yes, and, yes. Uh, we will stop be right down. back with more fun and more thrills. You, ladies and gentlemen, have the play zero of listening to the Mike O'Mara Show. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show brought to you by Dad Grass Man. I'm sorry. Uh, let's talk about dad grass, shall we? The perfect afternoon reset for those feeling burnt out from their daily routine with legal, organic, smokable hemp that relaxes your body and it mellows out your mind. Dad grass offers 100% organic pre-rolled joints that are very low in THC and high in CBD, allowing you to enjoy the effects while keeping a clear head. But if you prefer the toke without the smoke, try Dadgrass CBD tinctures made with the same high-quality mm. hemp. All Dadgrass products leave you in a euphoric mood, so you'll be happy, you'll relax, you'll unwind in no time. So do yourself a favor and snag five minutes for a Dadgrass toke break. You deserve it. All Dad Grass products are federally legal for ages 18 and over, and it ships right to your door anywhere in the U.S. Right now, Dad Grass is offering TMOS listeners 20% off your first order when you go to dadgrass.com slash TMOS. Go to dadgrass.com slash TMOS for 20% off your first order. Remember, man, that's dadgrass.com slash TMOS. And we thank you, everybody. Uh, I want to talk for just a second about drones. Yes. Yesterday, yes. I was uh, driving back from uh, 
taking a friend of mine to uh, get her car picked up. And as I was driving back, I noticed that there was a drone flying over a shopping center. Mm -hmm. And as I uh, slowed down, I was fortunately coming up to a light and I was able to really observe it and just observe the quality of the technology yes. mm -hmm. that has improved so dramatically now. And it's just really cool to me how they're doing these things now. And then Oscar comes in and wanted to talk about drones today because apparently the kids are are doing great with the drones. Yeah. Is that right? There's, um, well, well, and, and I'll give you a little, a little more background here. Um, when we were in Los Angeles and yeah. we were at the LA Times uh, Festival of Books, um, they, they had a crew out there that, and one of the team members was strictly a, a POV drone flyer to fly over the entire festival as they were making a sizzle reel for the okay. for the festival of books. And he came in, which was looked like a, someone like our Com a Comrex kit, our broadcast yeah, yeah. kit. Yeah. And he opened up the Pelican case and he threw on goggles and a and a face shield, like a mask, so the screen was on the mask. Oh, so, so he, like a V, almost like a like a he's, virtual. He's, yeah, he's he's watching where it's flying through his his screen on his, on this face shield. Oh, that's crazy! And he controls the drone by looking through the screen. Good, looking through the screen. Is that how most of them are done now? Now they are. Done? Yes. So now he doesn't even need to see the control. Well, he could through an iPad, but he, he said he prefers having the screen in front of his eyes. So that's crazy. He's so at, he's got a screen and he's got a controller. Yes. And that's how he does it. That's how he does it. Infinitely more easy to control it, I would say. Yes. Imagine, right? Yeah, especially with your spatial awareness and the fact that now these drones have um, the software built into them that when they get near a tree or a building, that it, it'll stop the drone from hitting or, or creating an impact, which is great. I wish so my car had that. For fun, and I wouldn't pick one up for fun. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody, Rob yes. Spiewak. Yeah. yeah, they like that even more, Rob. Yes, it's still yeah, upside down somewhere, <laughs> somewhere in Herndon. Ladies and gentlemen, we take you to Rob Spiewak on the Dulles Access Road in Washington, D.C. So this, this I didn't, I had my goggles on and everything. down. <laughs> uh, uh, very good. So. Go ahead. Um, you know, I, I, I'm like this guy. And as any guy likes gadgets, I, I, Shannon's like. What you? demo is this guy? Ah, uh, he's like in his early twenties. Okay. Um, and Shannon said, "Didn't you used to have drones?" I said, "Yeah." And then they created a no-fly zone over DC, so I can't even fly my drone. They still right. probably have that. They still have it, which is yeah. fair and safe. That's why I had to sell my helicopter, especially yeah. after what we've seen as of late mm -hmm. on the news. Um, so uh, she goes, uh, I, was, "I was like, it's, I think it's been commoditized. They don't make that much money." And <laughs> I'm probably saying that because I, if you recall, I wanted to start Santana Air. Yeah, you and wanted photograph. to have a business. You yeah, were wanted, ahead of yes. the curve with that. This was like eight years ago. Yeah, and uh, the video you did at uh, Mike's uh, family oh, house. Mike's, your home and and your family home in Maine. It was astounding, yes. Glorious, Glorious. especially at the time. You also yeah. have a photo no of your family my home. No family home. But it was. Well. Yes, it was. Yes, yes gorgeous. Well, it's mm -hmm. inhabited by your family. And when you had yes, a boat, is. we had the the drone trail your boat. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. All, it was by very, the way, very cool. yep. that was skill. Because today, you can GPS lock a, 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 a golf cart or an item, and it will follow it. Yeah. Right. Exactly. And then, so then I started looking up how much a drone operators make, and- I found a recruiting site that said you can make up to one hundred fifty thousand dollars a year. You can get your FAA license. You only can be you, the, the only stipulation is you have to be sixteen years old or like a pilot. Right. And I sat there and I said, if I was sixteen years old and I didn't live near a federal territory or a military base, and I wasn't, you know, the man wasn't trying to keep me down. Right. I hate the man. Uh, I would. I would. I'd be dying to do this mm -hmm. now. Do I think this is why a don't you why don't you put it on the uh, under the umbrella of the other corporation you started, which, uh, which is, you know, uh, GRQ HBS. Oh, which one is that again? Get rich, quick hair brain scheme. <laughs> I believe CFO a lot of work Steve, to do that. And the CFO is Steve Bridges. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that, All right. So, yeah, I mean, now they do it. And how much do they make when they're up doing to one fifty? That's crazy. Yes. Side hustle. This is not a side hustle. They said you have to be willing to travel. 
Uh, a lot of these are corporate gigs that have, you have to go to like. Uh, yeah, but you wouldn't need like, for example, if yes. I did it. Yeah. And I gave up playing golf. Yes. And I wanted to go oh, out. Oh, you uh, could do this all day. I could do it all day, all day. long. All day. You know. Yeah. Just take a because I mean they're using them more and more on real estate down here. Well, yeah. what you need and to do, Mike, is doing. focus on what's native to your market. So do this. Do you have anyone down there that has drone coverage of funerals? Thank you. Be a I lovely like, keepsake. I that? like that. Think about this. <laughs> Yeah, you can go wonderful. into the hole. You, you you literally paint the target. Yes. You have the procession. You follow in, and then you go right into the final resting place. Yeah, that would be something where I think you'd really, you know. <laughs> yeah. And you can you can get, actually go into the wake. Yeah. Yes. Right? Uh -huh. Or if they're in a catacomb, even cooler. Oh, like into like, the. Yeah. Like you could zoom yeah. right in. in. A <laughs> this is a, like, as we all go to that funeral in Pompeii that we're looking forward to. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Send him down into the catacombs. <laughs> yeah. That's a great idea. Well, he's dead. I guess we're all going to Paris. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, is he being cremated or uh, buried? Well, he's actually being sent down into a con catacomb with lots of skulls. <laughs> To decorate the walls. It's beautiful. I think catacombs are a lot more um, prevalent. Prevalent? Than we, yeah, they are. Uh, really? Really? Uh, I don't I think let, there are, I don't think God, there are many I've catacombs had to go to the, the computer United States. way too much today. No, I my really father have. in Bolivia, well, it's Bolivia. Well, that's Bolivia. He's de He definitely has a catacomb with his name on it. He said he refuses to go to Fort Washington. Fort Washington, the cemetery? Mom, oh, that way she bought the thing. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, she bought the ill-fated... Do people uh, was fleeced for her plots in Fort Washington, Maryland? Yes, you. Where Liddy, by the way, used to live. That's right. Catacomb. You watched the Plumbers this week? Oh, Ka Kathleen Turner Jeez. is sensational. I didn't know. Like, I'm learning history. Oh, it's great. I learned stuff I didn't know. Yeah, I didn't know that they that this lady was going to go in front of Congress and then they switched it's her off museum the pieces. Catacombs are museums. They are. Now. Yeah. What do you call? You, I, I, all right, I've got. I'll put another Please. question. It is believed that the oldest of the remains uh, are some twelve hundred years old. Mm -hmm. uh, in uh, seventeen eighty nine, Paris, France, the world, uh, the course of history was rocked by the French Revolution. I, this, I, are you thinking of? I, a, are you, you thinking of a mausoleum? You know, can I just say, Google, I when know. I put a question in and then you throw a paragraph because you don't give an ass uh, <laughs> right underneath this. That's why we use Chat GPT. To, yeah, right. I, I mean, are you a mausoleum. Of, that's like the building in a cemetery. It's like, it's like a yes, that's the building. Okay, so Mike, he's not talking about catacombs. Oh, I get a great French response when I said, "Do Parisians still use catacombs to bury the dead?" Yeah, and the response is simply, "No, of course not." <laughs> <laughs> I'm an idiot, though. Yeah. I'll take that one. Pair, mausoleums. Yeah, Per Zabios is thinking of a mausoleum. Cata catacombs. Oh, yeah. Well, funny. Like down in New Orleans, where we just were, yeah. uh, you have mausoleums because well, the cities dead below, are not buried. Yeah, below sea level. Exactly. The Thank earth would spit My them back. My father has, a, like, a slot, a mausoleum. I know this because you know, I'm, I'm, I have a copy of his will. Yes. Um, and I said, Dad, why a mausoleum in Bolivia? He goes, that's where my mama is, where my papa is. Like, yeah, but I that's, get that. and that's same mausoleum? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, same place. By the way, uh, at my advanced stage, Carl and I have not made our arrangements yet as to what uh, we want to do. I don't consider Maine to be my happy, happy place. Yeah. I love right. it up there. It's beautiful up there. My parents are both in the water up mm -hmm. there, scattered. I don't know if that's what... I want yet. I really don't know. You've told I us love... you wanted a Viking funeral as of late. Yeah. Uh, now, a Viking funeral up there would be pretty yeah. special. Mm -hmm. you know? I don't know if anybody's done it. I bet somebody's done of it. Of course. I bet there have been quirky people that have gone out there. And I'm talking about, you know, put me on the little boat. Yeah. Not a yeah. good boat. Just a rowboat. Cheap rowboat. Yeah. Send me out no, there. Just for fun, somebody... put it on your sister's boat. <laughs> That's my boat, too, pal. Yeah. Oh, no, thank you. Have her buy you out. And no, no. Do it. Right. We'll get you like an old wooden Boston whaler. No, no, you don't. A rowboat that will suffice. Exist. A rowboat will suffice. We have to take a break, for God's sake. Jeez. He's always right. loved center consoles. Yeah. Can yeah. I shoot the arrow yeah. that lights it on perfectly. fire? Those hulls are still valuable 30 years after the fact. Come on exactly. now. Come on. I'm not burning that up, and it'll melt, too. <laughs> Use your right? head. They're trying to get the salmon farms out of the bay. I'm not melting a center console out there, for Christ's sake. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Mike O'Mary Show, everyone. Hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. And if you're not, I hope it gets better. Mother's Day is this Sunday, you idiot. Because here's, here's what you do. 
Uh, preserve your cherished memories with ease and safety using Legacy Box. This Mother's Day, give the perfect gift to your mom or grandma and connect with your family's history. Simply send in your Legacy Box filled with old VHS tapes, camcorder tapes, and pictures, and their team will professionally digitize everything by hand in the uh, good old USA. Get your memories back on a thumb drive or the cloud along with your originals. They take such care with this. Spend yes. quality time with the loved ones and cherish your memories forever with Legacy Box. Order now at LegacyBox.com. We have all used it. It's like magic. Brings your past to the present and keeps it preserved for the future. For a limited time, go to LegacyBox.com slash TMOS for the best Mother's Day sale ever. Buy today to take advantage of 60% off Legacy Box. And just send it in when you're ready. Go to LegacyBox.com slash TMOS. All right. Uh, look, I've been talking about it a, uh, you know, every day. It seems like I'm discussing another idea for a side hustle. Yeah. And uh, Rob Spiewak came in today with an idea, uh, or actually reporting on something going on. Yeah. That it can't with miss all, with <laughs> all of the stuff going on weather wise out in California and mudslides and tremendous amounts of erosion. This is causing. Would it be another gold rush out in That's California? That's how they referred to it on NBC News. What Mostly what I saw was a lot of guys with beards trying to cash in. But okay. they are mining for gold like it's 1849. It was the perfect storm. A winter of pounding rain and mountain snow. Moving earth and uncovering new riches long buried. Today in California, it's a new gold rush. This year's a great year because the water has just moved so much new material. Easy gold, I call it. Yeah. Easy gold year. We met this collection of hardcore hobbyists at the heart of the original gold rush, Placerville Hardware, in business since 1852. So you've got every different kind of pan you could think of. The guys geared up. Let's go find some gold. To hit a few hidden hotspots where raging runoff might unearth pay dirt. But as we quickly learn, there's no easy money. How long will you spend in there? All day if you can. <laughs> <laughs> it can be hours of backbreaking manual labor, deadlifting boulders in ice cold streams, just for a shot at that golden ticket. But these guys are pros. This is gold that came right out of that spot Alberts down there working. All this is gold just <laughs> that's now. That's all that's gold. After a little more digging and a few more finds, it was time to move on. How much do you think we got? I don't know. Probably enough for dinner, maybe. Gas. Experts say <laughs> you'd be hard-pressed trying to get rich from striking gold. Uh, what's the one piece of advice that you tell people when searching for gold? Don't give up until you find a piece of gold. And even if you don't strike it rich, sometimes the real treasure is in the hunt. You got the gold fever. yee Duh! No! <laughs> hey, they're doing it for fun, most of them, it sounds like, right? They're doing it as a hobby. It'd be a fun... It's I like suppose. people going out with a... You've gone to a beach with a metal detector, haven't you? Uh, no, I don't think I have. I've, you know what? I've never done the beach. I've done, like, uh, a football field or a yard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. exactly the same thing. And now, the people that are idiots are if you're really trying to... You know, make your way. Yeah, when you, I mean, you when you buy all the pans at Placerville Hardware. Uh, well, and there are guys. I watch their. By the way, as far as reality television, it's filled with these. If you if you inherit a claim, that's different. Right. But if right. you're just going to the crick, and <laughs> <laughs> you're messing around with dirt and finding a flake or two. Yeah. Forget about it. Well, if you're doing it though for your own amusement, because the thrill of seeing a little fleck of gold in your pan is something you're chasing, and you know you're not going to get rich. Now you should thing, call Catherine and tell her you'll go halvesies with her. <laughs> I, uh, I'm not. I don't. It's not something that I would be. Well, she would do it. To do and no, you could just no, finance the no. pan. My She's, daughter's doing very well. Yeah. Thank you very much. Well, you yeah. going she to LA River? Pan for gold. She's doing. She's in sales, making yeah. a lot of money. Just got promoted. Doesn't go well, out the excellent. field anymore. I don't think yeah. he's questioning you. You're just saying that proximity wise, she's in LA. And yeah, you're, she's you're in, in LA. I, but the, isn't Pla Placerville? Isn't where is that? In, I think uh, that's Northern California. I think that's Northern California. I think we have listeners in Placerville. Yeah, find some. Send us. Us, send think, us the gold. I think baskets is set in Placerville. Now another thing that I'm, <laughs> I'm fascinated by these guys. It's it's got a casino quality to it. Right. I love the uh, the chance, the game of chance, I'm, like poker play. I'm. Mm -hmm. I'm more like, and and this is whether it was you or anybody else. The fact that you have a little, um, little watch like 
polishing mill full of rocks yeah. and stones and uh, an HVAC system to filter out the dust. That fascinates me. It is fun. And what also fascinates me, and you can find out by one of the most sexy movies that's ever been made, the one with Jessica Alba and uh, Scott Kahn, uh, uh, the one where they're out there on the and the guy oh, that passed that away. Deep Blue Sea. Deep Blue Sea. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And mm-hmm. I think that's what it's called. Think- and uh, they're, they're treasure hunters, and it's just. Well, they. They so don't find cool. treasure. They find cocaine. They find a crash plane with cocaine. Yeah. But well, that'd be a good find involves, too. They're looking for treasure when that happens, and uh, I think it's deep blue. Let me I look. think it might be deep Mike. Blue, by the way, sure. Placerville, formerly known as Old Dry Diggings, Dry Diggings, and Hangtown, is in the Sacramento, Arden, Arcade, Roseville metropolitan statistical area. All right, if you so right, it's right uh, outside look, Sacramento, into you would like the to blue. be a talk. Into the blue. We both yeah. got it wrong. Okay. Uh, if you are somebody who knows anything about this, we'd love to have you as a talking head. Yes. Uh, get get in touch with Rob at our website, MikeOmeraShow.com. It's Rob with two Bs, and we would love to talk gold digging uh, out in California. Yeah. I would love that. What if we got, like, Gabby Hayes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that'll, that'll do it. Uh, as a matter of fact, we have him on the line right now. Oh, we do? We have the talking uh, head? Oscar, this is uh, exciting. Oh, let's uh, let's get the uh, talking head Yeah, right this now, is a guy that has been out in Placerville, and he's been uh, panning gold for months now mm. because with all the weather and stuff. And yeah, got- that'll fix him. Are you down in a cave? <laughs> uh, no, I'm down here. I'm on the line. That'll pitch him. Yeah, that'll take the fight out of him. Uh, yeah, I, I got my, I got me a flake today. Oh, I'm sorry. That's me dandruff. <laughs> oh, how much have you found? How much gold have you found? I'm sorry. He's oh, he's gone. gone. We, we lost his bad line. connection yeah, there. Unfortunately, yeah. maybe, maybe we'll do it in rehearsal next time. <laughs> I have to say this. Yes. That, That'll get him. The idea of that always fascinates me. Maybe like what uh, Oscar's fascinated with the watches. Yes. But the thing that really is cool being down here. Uh, Carla, I got for either a birthday or anniversary or Christmas. Sweet I got 16. her a uh, a piece of eight, not not gold, but I got her a real pendant from uh, this company that sells them. And so, is it like a mold of hunters. the original piece? I of don't eight? know. I think this is a teeny tiny. Uh, it's not a tiny one. I think this. I paid a lot of money. It's a real coin, and it's a uh, it's got a setting, uh, uh, a Matt, silver I'm setting s- on I'm it. I'm sorry. I'm. I just don't know. What's a piece of eight? It was an old form of money. As a matter of fact, I think it was valued. They called it a piece of eight because it was valued at a dollar. And when you talk about two bits, that's a quarter because it's two bits of a piece of eight. I never got that before. I think that's what it is. I could be wrong, but I think that's Not what... to be confused with two boots. No, the two pizza. boots is a great pizza. Look at that son of a bitch. <laughs> And pieces of eight <laughs> was also what they found in the tower treasure. If you watch the old Hardy Boys uh, yeah. serial on a uh, pre Civil War, ah, golly, I think pre Civil War. Yeah. yeah, Rob's right. The Spanish dollar. It was a wow. Spanish, uh, a Spanish dollar was a piece of eight. And uh, what's a, cr- a Freddy Krueger? A okay. Krueger and a, end. And it's a silver coin. Got it's it. a silver, silver coin. coin. Okay. So the value. These guys have wrecks all over the Keys and the uh, coast of Florida, wow. and they go. And some of these wrecks that haven't been to, I forgot the vast majority of shipwrecks in the world are undiscovered. That That's have right. not been found. Mm-hmm. And many, this was their main method of transporting uh, riches and treasure. So yeah. that's why these things, some of these things have the potential. There's, I love stuff like that. There's, a, really there's a treasure, um, there's a Florida Keys Treasure Museum. I guess someone found a, yeah. uh, a wrecked Spanish galleon. Right? Probably mm-hmm. Mel Fisher's, tre- uh, Mel Fisher. Is probably what it was. Yeah. You know, it, it's still. I just remember when we visited the Keys, we went into the museum, and I said, "I can't believe they just found this." Oh right. yeah, it's out there. Hold on, I'm looking up right now. What the Mel Fisher? Yeah. No, I, uh, in a sweet way, um, I thought that the galleons were actually dalians <laughs> when I was a kid. Or did you think maybe that there was four quarts in every galleon? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna look at uh, treasure sales right okay. here. Yeah, very good. See. All right, got a uh, piece of eight right here in a uh, in a setting really good one here. Yeah, what a, what a uh, sweet $6, gift. Six thousand one hundred sixty dollars. Yeah, what a sweet wow. gift. Wow, that is an awesome gift though. Love right. that. Treasure blog. Uh, let me see if there's my mom is gold. a coin person. She is. Yeah, she got that from Big Daddy. Did she, you know there's an app now that just scans your coins and gives you the value? Yeah. Do you know that uh, she used to be able to hear people put silver coins through the coin star, and she would go and empty the coin star and buy the coins because silver coins make a different noise. That seems like a lot of time. 
No, a silver coin is very good. But she would just sit there like no, a no, locker? No, 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 no. Because she used to be, she used to run the front end of Safeway. Oh. <laughs> I guess I should have probably I brought that up. she was lurking. No, she wasn't <laughs> lurking at Coinstar. <laughs> but like uh, a new you, arrival, a 1715 Fleet Gold, two Escudos, mounted in 18 karat gold with diamonds, 37,000. Uh, three hundred and fifty. See, wow, Mike, you there think you Carla values uh, in today's dollars? There's no way I got her a real one. Then I got. I guess I got her a, a replica. Yeah, I think I did because it's small. We said it was small, right? Did you buy no, it from it's, the it's, Franklin it's Mint? It's not small, and I uh, no, I got it from this company, and uh, I didn't get her a real one. Because the real one says here, right here. Oh, it's got diamonds in it. So that's, oh, uh, that's different. But uh, yeah, so they these things are cool, and they dive for them, and, and they yeah. know mm-hmm. what's out there, right? I think it's pretty. That's cool. super sweet. I love that. What a oh unique God. gift. A uh, very unique gift. Uh, this year, you should uh, remind her of that. Uh, this is a tease for tomorrow's show. Uh, <laughs> this year, I'm getting her a uh, a pepper spray gun. Ooh. Oh, that's uh, yeah, very I'll tell romantic. You all about that. Thank you. Yeah, that's me, Mr. Romance, Mike O'Mara. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Mr. No, Romance. It's know. Mr. Hey, Thoughtful. I, I do live in Florida, don't I? <laughs> yes, I mean, you come do. On now. Give all me a day. Uh, we'll take a break and uh, come back with some very interesting sound challenges for you. Right here, you, ladies and gentlemen, are listening to the Mike O'Mara Show. Well, what well, well, well. Hey, everybody, spring into outdoor adventures with electric e bikes. Did I already talk about electric no. e-bikes? No, this not is today. One. We saved oh, this one for last. That. Yeah, yes. I got confused during the middle of the show. Electric e-bikes, enjoy the bike you want with amazing and affordable financing options. These fast, fun, foldable bikes are perfect for uh, store trips, longer adventures, packed with features. They have a removable battery. They have an LCD display. They have multiple levels of pedal assist. Electric e-bikes are great for anyone, and they help lower gas costs mm-hmm. and reduce your carbon footprint. If you're uh, ever in the D.C. area, you might just see Oscar Santana yes. flying along. Zipping by. On his electric e-bike, waving at all of his fans who really, if they know Oscar's out on one of his electric e-bike rides, they actually line the streets of M Street in Georgetown to uh, wave at him as he goes by. They and, tear uh, up phone books and throw the confetti. Absolutely. And uh, he, he goes by and says his standard greeting, yes. <laughs> Leon. <laughs> no, I say, I'm late, can't talk. Thank you. Uh, join Oscar and other happy riders and say goodbye to goodbye. parking fees. Yes. Experience the freedom of riding electric e-bike this spring. Start your next adventure with electric e-bikes ready, set, spring sale. Visit electricebikes.com to learn more and explore the new Expedition Cargo e-bike and all of the other epic models electric has to offer. That's L-E-C-T-R-I-C ebikes.com we thank you electric ebikes and thank you being uh, for being a fine sponsor yes. of the Mike O'Mara show mm. whoa whoa hello killed your time today Rob that's all right mike all this talk of pieces of eight made me think of the hardy boys from mickey mouse and i believe that is mentioned in this song pieces of eight Loons and pieces of eight handed down to Applegate Arr. from buccaneers who fought for years for gold doubloons and pieces of eight. Handed there you go. So I, I I wasn't wrong. That's good. I had I, I was somewhere Spanish deep dollar. somewhere deep in my brain. This is something that I think you're going to enjoy, Mike, because technically it's very hard to do. Mm. There's a singer on TikTok, and what he does is takes normal songs plays them backwards, which is easy to do now with digital technology, memorizes the song backwards, plays it backwards, then reverses it again. What's, do you want? Is there any surprise that we are a faltering society no. when you have people spending their time when they could be doing something like hunting for treasure? Yes, or curing this. a disease, Good flying Lord, a drone. My God. So, what does he do again quickly? What okay, does he do? quickly, he takes a song. Reverses it, memorizes the song in reverse as on an instrument, right? Yes. And then plays it again reversed, so it sounds right when it's played again. You'll understand it when I play the tape. See if you can figure out the song because it starts out with him doing the song as he's memorized it, and then he plays it back. Can you figure out this backward song? <laughs> Stairway to heaven. Exactly right. Very good. So let him go for a few more seconds. Because then he reverses it. Rewind that. 
There's a lady who saw that glitter. So he not only memorizes the uh, melody, he memorizes the, the way words. the lyrics sound. Yes. So this is actually backwards. A real is there another one? No, this is the one that I like best. Okay. But what a waste of time. It is a what tremendous a total one. waste of time. Jesus. One would think this next tape comes from Florida, but it doesn't. Okay. It comes from Arkansas. Mm-hmm. It's an Arkansas family, and they're not good neighbors to have. Because I don't know if they have any plumbing issues inside the house or what their deal is, but their neighbors are dealing with this. They've been taking their feces in buckets and dumping it at the back of their property and then across the street at another person's property. They've been dumping it on their property, too. And they've been doing this now for about three years. Everybody oh. around them have sold their houses, which are leaving the ones that are still left here to just kind of just to oh. sit and suffer. Aren't they technically composting? Well, technically, I guess they are. Fertilizing? Yeah. That taking buckets of their poo and pouring them out on the open ground? Yeah, at the edge of their property. Poo oh on me, my. poo on you. Yeah, that's God. right. Poo me. Oh man. Poo me once. Shame <laughs> on me, poo. Anyway. Uh, uh, <laughs> no surprise for us who all worked at CBS and Paramount. Yeah. Um, they cut MTV News. They just got rid of the entire department. Yeah, and they laid off a bunch of people. A lot of people. 25% of, the world of, broadcasting. of their, they announced this morning. Yeah. Saw in the crawler, CNBC. They were Oscar. La- Oscar still indicates to me we're going to survive. They will lay off twenty five percent of their entire staff. Oscar, outside of gonna, MTV News. Wow. Oscar, reassure me again, even publicly, yeah. we're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. Mike, we are Oscar. resilient. Oh, we'll very keep nice. Pushing, Thank but you, just to uh, to take us back, for people of a certain age, Oscar, I believe you'll be included here. Here's a classic nineteen eighty eight MTV newscast. And what's great before social media, this is where we got our music news. I'm Kurt Loder. This is MTV News. For the first time since Wham! toured here three years ago, George Michael will be playing outdoor stadiums in the U.S. on the just-announced final leg of his current tour. These are the October dates, and as you can see, with the exception of the Summit Arena in Houston, all the shows are at 50,000-plus football stadiums. Mm. Meanwhile, Michael's Monkey single has just arrived at the top of the Billboard chart, putting him in the rarefied company of Michael Jackson and Whitney Houston, the only other performers to score four number one singles from the same album. That's the news for now. Stay tuned for more music on MTV. MTV News. You hear it first. It's just such a part of my childhood hearing those stagers and stuff. Yeah, it's weird that it's gone. Absolutely. It was a big deal, Wade. So let's close with this, Mike. I think you will particularly appreciate this because I think we share a love for people that do American accents. People, mm-hmm. a lot yeah, of- Yeah, like Brits that yeah, do Yeah, it. yeah. These are yeah. British people. You hear you hear Americans do British accents. I knew a guy that was from, I think he was from Wales, and he always used to say, hey, I have bananas on my hands. That was his <laughs> American accent. But uh, they went around, this was on TikTok, they went around London and they asked, can you do an American accent? I love it. And now the accents are funny, but what's funny is what they all say mm. when they're being American. Literally, Coachella is the best festival I've ever been to in my life. Can I have a glass of water? I literally cannot deal with all of these people around here. They're such vegans. I just want some meat, okay? A big fat cheeseburger and some fries would be so good. good. I went to Coachella this year and there was like no vegan options. Oh my God, I'm like drinking a beer. I literally don't know anything. (laughs) We're literally like eating so much food today, drinking so many drinks. That is disgusting. Mike, that's literally all I have today. They're all Valley Girls. I love that. <laughs> love that is too. awesome. Fantastic. I love that. Remember that guy at Capital Radio in London that was like, uh, hey, go to Taco Bell, Pally. <laughs> I remember that. And then he'd go back to talking normal. And he's like, I, I think you'll uh, be able to find a American fast food around the corner over there. Go have your tacos, baby. Yes, sir. Uh, we got to get out of here. We'll be back with a brand new episode tomorrow for Rob Spiewak and Oscar Santana. Michael Mara saying so long. Bye bye. Ciao, ciao. Want more? Make sure you check out the Michael Mara Bonus Show. Get it at michaelmarashow.com. Michael Mara, Radio Entertainment. You also can tell me about him? No. Like I say, he was funny looking. More than most people, even. There's a force in the universe that makes things happen. And all you have to do is get in touch with it. Stop thinking. Let things happen. Be.
Goodbye.